don't want to, to try to polarize the issue, but do you find or do you believe that um, that the prairie dog, the black-footed ferret, the other plains uh, animals in the entire ecosystem is sort of more tied to your culture than some others? Well, without a doubt. Uh, the dominant society, which consists primarily of the Caucasian people, they're immobile people. They, uh, with except with for the agricultural community, they primarily they don't have any roots. They're like a tumbleweed. They go whichever way the wind blows, wherever the economics of of today's standard of living uh, provides an opportunity for them. Indian people are different. We're we have roots into the soil. It's, our ancestors are here, and everything that is a part of our land, of our reservation that has been set aside for us, is important to us. So in that perspective, yes, uh, we are more linked to the animals. Uh, we are more linked to a specific geographic area. But I see a movement uh, among the dominant society that they are searching also. They are searching for their roots. Uh, their ancestors came from across the waters. It's extremely difficult for them to go back across the waters to find their roots. So they're looking for a place that they can have a special closeness to. And I see a movement coming from the urban areas primarily because there is nothing of nature in the urban areas. It's all asphalt and cement and buildings. and. A lot of the people that come here are amazed at uh, what we take for granted they set such a high value on. And it's hard for us that live here to acknowledge and understand that uh, importance because it's part of our everyday life.